to our tremolo series. In this series, we're going to share with you tremolo pedals by some of our favorite manufacturers. Thanks for joining us. Today we're looking at the Big Chill by Jam Pedals. That's right. This is a tremolo pedal with some unique features. Ooh. Very vintage e in some regards and then a little bit modern in some regards too. Right. So, I'm not sure there's anything else to say other there than jumping in the, in, the, <laughs> in, the, in the features, right? Uh, from Greece, I'm going to throw a shout out to them. Beautiful packaging. Yeah. Um, and we unboxed it somewhere so you can see the packaging. Beautiful packaging. Um, design on the pedal is always good. Uh, their pedals look great. This is our first experience with a jam pedal. Yeah. And it's been a company that I've wanted to get in for a long time. So I'm hoping we'll see more jam pedals in the future. Alright, so we have three buttons. So on a tremolo pedal. I don't know, three buttons. Yeah, wait. So you have an engage. And that turns the pedal on. This, which is between two speeds. So, and then we have a chop effect. And when we push that on, it goes into a chop effect. And that's like a uh, like a hard cut. You said it takes uh, all the dry signal out. And you only get the... Yeah, it's like a kill dry mm -hmm. thing is what I think they, what they call it. So, we have a three-way toggle, so at the very top you have a square wave, in the middle you have a sine wave, and at the bottom you have a triangle wave, so we're covering our three basic on the shirt yes. there. Hi, hi, hello, 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 hello. Sine, square, and triangle waves. There are two speed knobs, so that second button I showed you, you're really switching between the two speed knobs, and this is how Smart Jam is. If I go here, I'm on blue, so I'm on speed two, which is blue, and if I go here, I'm on yellow, which is speed one. So easy we can use it. Right. The knobs even match the colors, right? The interesting thing I will find is that they're spaced out, right? So it's not half a pedal, half a pedal. It's interesting the way they decided to, to do that. Right. And so the depth then runs through both sides. And the level runs through both sides. Right. So wherever you set your level, wherever you set your depth. There are some internal trim pots that deal with, I think, speed two and the chop effect. We're running it stock. We're not going to open it up and get into the internal. Pretty sure pots. you'll never see a video with us with a screwdriver taking the back off of a pedal. We tell you what's in there, but we don't go in there. <laughs> right. We don't. Because, I mean, there's part of me that feels like they set it up to sound what they think sounds best. And right. Every once in a while, maybe I've turned a trim pot, but. I don't know. More for the often show. than not. Maybe yeah, not for the show. show. Right. Yeah, no. pre show. Mm. Uh, and so that's it. Level. You could use it as a. Uh, Clean boost, mm -hmm. right? So turn the draw, turn the depth all the way off, turn the level wherever you want for your clean boost. And it's nice too because it compensates for the either perceived or actual signal loss because mm -hmm. of the effect. You can get unity with your amp, all right? Which we tried to do that. Two expression ports on the right side. There is an expression port for depth, so you can hook an expression pedal up and run the depth. On the left side, there's an expression point port for speed and that's for speed two mm -hmm. so you can put speed two on an expression pedal jam says that their expression pedals work best and interesting they do not recommend the same expression pedal for both sides <laughs> right, right so for the depth side they recommend one expression pedal that they have and for the other side they recommend another one we're going to try and show you how it might work with an expression pedal we have the was it the ep2 by moog moog um, and they're not kidding about this because we also have a Dunlop volume expression pedal. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we hooked that up, it didn't work right on either side. Right. It didn't have the right sweep on either side. And so we thought it would be kind of cool to have both expression pedals running, but it didn't work. Right. Uh, the Moog one works pretty good. So um, I think sounds. Yeah. So I guess reference tone first. 2001 PRS that's all. Uh, 2001 PRS single cut through the beards brand new Tyler 
PT-22. So basically like a blackface Princeton reverb. So, uh... There's a little reverb in the amp. It sounds nice over here. I know. That's, that's what I was telling you. It sounds good. nice over here. All right, so... Let's start... How do you want to start this? Phew. We just got to pick a side, right? Let's start with everything. Well, we, we've set the level to be kind of unity. Be unity. So we're going to kind of leave that right now. We'll start with the depth. I'll let Pat play through some stuff. We'll start with the depth in the middle so he can kind of hear where the speed's at and stuff. If he wants to play to that. And then we'll roll the depth down and then roll the depth back up. Um, do you want it any faster than what it's at right now? I'll work with whatever's there. Okay. <laughs> saw me hesitating in the beginning because we started on the square wave which is probably, <laughs> one, of the harder, one, right? yeah, probably one of the hardest ones um just to give an idea of speed you want to do the kind of rake through some stuff mm -hmm. and we'll we'll go all lowest speed to the highest just real quick It's a little silly, but you get the idea. Right. I mean, they have very slow, mm -hmm. very fast. Hummingbird wing fast, as I've been calling it. <laughs> right. And speed two, same thing. Yeah. Same range. Um, so, uh, I mean, if you're talking tremolo, speed and depth, your two main controls. All right. Having the level knob is nice. What's really nice on this one, then, is that ability. Like, we have this, the speed here on speed one kind of slow right now. We could set this up where we have it about doubled. Mm -hmm. So you're just on toggle between? So sure. So Take some probably work to yeah, get them right. set where you want them, or if you're using it in two different songs. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of times, like with the Caesar Diaz, has the half feature, right? Where wherever you're playing, you hit the button, it cuts it in half or mm -hmm. speeds it up, whatever, mm -hmm. which whichever way you look at it, right? right. However you like to <laughs> like to feel that. Um, but if you're using two different songs, where maybe you want to tremolo in a fat, like a fast tremolo for one song, slow tremolo for another, whatever, you have that covered. Uh, that's been the square wave that we've been doing so far. Mm -hmm. Probably would be good to maybe play through that a little bit, go down to the sine wave, go down to the triangle waves. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe keeping the depth pretty high, yeah. pretty high so people can hear it, maybe giving you a little more speed on that 
channel to work with. Did you flip the throttle yet? To Are we still in square? We're in square. I'll let you play okay, a little bit and I'll give it a gotcha. sign. I should follow instructions. Yeah, the triangle wave had me thinking less about the rhythm I was playing than the other two. The other two, I was kind of letting that drive where I was going, and I was really careful about how I strummed. And then when we got down to triangle, I felt I could open up a little bit. So it just depends what waveform you like, what you're playing. Mm -hmm. Those are big open strummy chords. I mean, there's obviously little nuanced parts that you might play. but And then you throw that chop in there. Yes, yeah, right. That... Definitely yeah, you get to a bridge or something and throw some overdrive and a chop or mm -hmm. something dramatic. So, I think we've covered pretty much face controls. I do think it's worth showing the expression pedal. I agree. Oh, I think we'll start with the depth setting. So, the way this works, or the way it seems to work, we start on the depth side. We're going to turn the depth all the way up on here. And then on the expression pedal we have sitting down here on the floor that you cannot see, but you have to trust us, it's there. I think heel back is all the way up. Yes, full. And then when we go towards toe, it becomes... Less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of opposite, like, intuitively. And so on the Moog expression pedal, it has a little knob here. And if we roll that knob back just a little bit, it won't let us get all the way to the lowest step setting, which will keep it from... It's sounding like it's off. Right. Yeah. So, I don't know. Is that somewhere where you'll be able to... Oh, you want me to do it? Okay, yeah. Okay. I mean, you can do it. I can do it. It's up to you. Uh, look at us. Look at us. All right, so back is full on. Full right. on. All right. Ooh. thought I felt it vibrating. All right. Um... Full on, all the way to toe. Is there just a little? Yeah. Like yeah. We, we could have probably moved it back just a little bit more, a touch right. more, and you'd have just a little bit. When we had it wide open, the effect basically went away completely. Mm -hmm. So you tried to dial it back to where it was still there. But it makes it super subtle or super engaged, if you will. And then the other option mm -hmm. would be to put it over in the speed side. So we're going to plug the expression pedal into the speed side. Mm -hmm. That activates the speed 2. Right. So Pat was right. We had to switch it over here to speed 2. Um, we have it in the sine wave. Depth is pretty high so you can hear it. We did roll that knob on the side back just a little bit so it doesn't get up to the quite to the hummingbird speed. Right. But it, it gets pretty close. And um, yeah, go ahead. So I'm going to start with slow heel all the way back, and as I change chords, I'll try to change the speed and try to get something that makes sense. But Oh, yes. 
with Drive. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, we that was, yeah, go ahead. I was just saying that was a Barber Electronics game changer mm-hmm. that we used for a little bit of drive. Uh, expression pedal for speed two, expression pedal for depth. You have a depth two different speed knobs that you can switch back and forth between the kill dry chop switch, which is right up our alley. We love that, mm-hmm. you know, like. Big gain, go on, hit that button, get that choppy sound. So that's kind of like your slicer effect, like the, right, yeah. the boss slicer mm-hmm. that everybody loves. That great effect. Um, level knob, we didn't show you, but there's a lot. I mean, this is where we're at for probably Unity, so there's a lot of headroom Headroom if you want to push the amp a little bit. And I think with that... With three sine waves, maybe mention that. Oh, one. yeah, sine wave, square wave, and the uh, triangle wave. And I think with that, I mean, this jam pedals, Awesome. Awesome. Cool pedal. So, tons of more cool pedals coming in the Tremolo series. I got it right. I didn't say Leslie. That's good. (laughs) Tons more pedals coming in the Tremolo series. Please hit subscribe, hit the like button if you want to find out what else is coming up. Uh, There's a video that we shot that shows all 23 pedals that are going to be in it. Check out Instagram and Facebook. We post a lot of stuff that's coming up, some unboxings and things like that of stuff that's going to be on the show. We'd love to have you join the conversation with us there. And I think with that... I'm PJ on behalf of The Beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. Get the message.